I'm going to show you how to earn $150,000 a year in a federal government job. And what this means is that you need to be a GS-14 or a GS-15. Now, a lot of people are quick to point out that this is very unlikely. This doesn't happen often. They will point to numbers that say only 18% of Americans make over $100,000 a year. This is true. But the main reason I believe that people are trapped in lower income jobs is because they simply do not know what they do not know. Now, there's nothing magical about a GS-14 or a GS-15 position. I know this because... I'm one of those people, and I interact with GS-14s and 15s every day. The problem I mainly see is either one, people just get discouraged and they completely give up, or two, they undersell their experience. They just want to get their foot in the door, so they're willing to discount all their years of experience and take a much lower salary. I looked on usajobs.gov and there are over 5,000 jobs at the GS-14 and 15 levels. So the opportunities are there. A lot of people could be thinking at this point, that's great that there's all these opportunities, but you have to know someone. How do I even get to know the right people? Well, first off, you do not need to know anyone, but if you would like to know somebody, you can attend virtual hiring events. You can register for these, they're free, you go online and you can actually talk and meet with human resource specialists or even sometimes hiring managers that are looking for somebody. If you wanted to know how to do this, you go to usajobs.gov. All the way at the bottom, there's a section on virtual hiring events. Now, some agencies, they do not advertise this through usajobs.gov. It's only on their own website. So I take all of that information, the virtual hiring events, and I email it out once a month. And if you're interested in receiving that email, just sign up for my free newsletter down below. The exact strategy on how to get a GS-14 or 15 is going to change based on your location, based on your experience. I've seen people come out of the military and they go right into a GS-15 position. I've seen a man come out of Bank of America. He worked at Bank of America at the retail level and he stepped into a GS-14 position. So these things are possible. But what I want to focus on is the person that has about 5 or 10 years of experience right now. And what you have to understand is it is likely that you need to be willing to move. Now, sure, 100% remote positions are out there. And like this one right here, this is a GS-15 position that's 100% remote. It has a nice salary attached to it. But it is not as common and it will be ultra competitive. If you are willing to move, especially to a larger city, then the opportunities expand. And it doesn't have to be Washington, D.C., only about 20% of government jobs actually exist in the DC area. So you have to ask yourself, what skills and experiences do I have? Because with the right skills, a lot more opportunities open up for you. If you want some ideas on what the right experience looks like, go look at the urgent hire list on usajobs.gov. And as you can see on here, finance is on there, cybersecurity is on here, IT management's on here, and business contracting is on here. I'm telling you this for a couple of reasons. The jobs that we just looked at on the urgent hire list, for one, they're more likely to use direct hiring authority. And that way you can kind of bypass a lot of the special hiring authorities that are out there. So direct hire authority is going to be advantageous for you. Another reason is a lot of these jobs, they'll pay for your relocation or they'll give you an incentive on top of the job offer. Okay, so you're willing to move. You have the right experience. What GS grade should you start out at? I don't know your exact background, but I would recommend probably GS-11. You can get in at the GS-11 level. And then after 12 months, you're eligible for 12. Another 12 months, you're eligible for 13. So after just three years, you're now eligible to apply for GS-14 positions. Create a filter in usajobs.gov and start reading those job announcements for the specialized experience section. This section will help you structure your federal resume. And the federal resume is crucial to opening the door for you to get these type of opportunities. So you need to spend time with that and tailor it and have people look at it and review it so you can make it as strong and as competitive as possible. Even though the shortest time between 11 to 14 is three years, it takes time to apply, especially if you're not in a ladder position. So if you're not in a ladder position, I would put this at about five years. This should be a five-year goal. The problem that most people face is they're not willing to leave their job, especially not after 12 months. 
they feel like they're betraying the organization or they're putting themselves in a situation where they're not comfortable and they're just reluctant to apply. If you're in a position with no promotion potential, after 12 or 18 or 24 months, at a certain point, it has to click for you. You have to go after the next opportunity. You have to do what is in your best interest. I think most people watching this video right now, they can follow this roadmap. They can follow the roadmap and they can get there. And they understood every single word that came out of my mouth today. But they won't do it. They simply won't. Why? Because they're too comfortable. They're too comfortable in their position. They feel like only 18% of Americans can make six figures, so why even bother? They're trapped in that kind of mindset. But not you. I think you will actually do it. You're going to be the one that does it. You're going to take action. You're going to work on your resume. You're going to apply. And in five years from now, you're going to be sitting in a GS-14 position because I believe in you. All right, if you're still seriously looking for a federal government job, I did a live stream recently. I answered about 15, 20 different questions. If you're interested in that, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.